We've covered the Hershey Resort, the Botanical Gardens, Zoo America, Chocolate World, the original Hershey's Chocolate Factory, the town of Hershey, but wait, we're not done yet. I've saved the best for last. Hershey's Chocolate Park. Hang on to your hats and glasses, cause this here's the wildest ride in Pennsylvania? The thrill start right now. We are in, map in hand. Welcome to Hershey Park everyone and welcome to Marty's Corner. If this is your first time here and you like theme parks, travel and adventure, this may be the place for you. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you don't ever miss any future videos. All right, here we go and make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because there's a really cool slideshow with beautiful sunsets and a complete timeline of Hershey Park. Also, just as a disclaimer, most of the high speed roller coasters did not allow me to take any camera equipment onto the attractions themselves. So for those cases, I will insert the official Hershey Park POVs. Enjoy. Ah, Hershey Park. Smells delicious. This is my first time here. If it's yours, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. What's the plan for today? Everything. Literally everything. I'm going to try to get on every single ride, every single roller coaster, and well, maybe not every single one. Like maybe, maybe not that one. And, and maybe not, maybe not that one. You know, the big stuff. And I'm gonna do my best to take you along with me and hold my camera for dear life as we go on things like, like, like that. So I hope you enjoy the vlog and I hope you enjoy Hershey Park. I have been told to start in the back of the park and work my way forward. So right now we are in the very front of the park and we have our statue of Milton Hershey. I guess this would be the equivalent to the partner statue at the Disneyland Resort or Disney World. It's not the happiest place on earth, but it certainly is the sweetest. Well, hi. What's going on? Oh, I see what you want. You want some of that. I'm sorry, I don't have any food. But I can say hi. I can say hi. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Okay. Hi. I, I was just going to pet you. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's a good... Oh, good job. Good job. Oh, you're beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Ow, son of a... <laughs> so is it going to be Kisses, Reese's, or Hershey's? You know I love Reese's Pieces, but in this case, I'm going to have to go with Hershey's. Hey! 
Oh my gosh, somebody knows me down there. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lordy. Oh, this is happening. Oh yes, yes, 10 out of 10. Yep, that was a good one. Thinking the kiss needs some love. What's going on? Oh, look, you're so sweet. <laughs> Can I get a hug? You get a hug, you gotta get a hug. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, next up on the list is the Great Bear. It doesn't look like the line's gonna be too long, maybe 10 minutes. I'm thinking front row for this one. Oh my gosh, so I just got off of Great Bear, this roller coaster behind me. Unfortunately, they did not allow me to take the camera onto the roller coaster. It would have been awesome because I was in the front row and the views were amazing because the track was above me. But for good reason, I understand there were multiple inversions and the G-forces were definitely there. So, oh well, but awesome ride. I'm gonna start rating these rides as I go through them. Um, I'm gonna have to give this one, oh my gosh, it was very smooth. I'm gonna have to say nine out of 10. Onward to the next one. How about a lift on the kissing tower? All the way up there. About 300 feet up. Definitely guaranteed to get some spectacular views of Hershey, Pennsylvania.
So we just came off of the, the kissing tower and they were such amazing views from up there. I don't know if I can actually give that a, a scale of 1 to 10 rating since, you know, it was just kind of an easy going attraction. But for the views, I definitely give it a 10. So instead of having your height in inches for all the different attractions, they have it via different candies. Makes it easy to remember. From the shortest, the Hershey's Miniatures, all the way to the tallest is the Jolly Rancher. I think I'm good for all of them. Well, the weather here is a little bipolar. In the morning, it's in the mid 40s and now it's like 90. I'm gonna go cool off and get on the coal cracker. Let's go. I am finally looking forward to taking you on a ride and cooling off. Got the whole boat to myself. Be careful what you wish for. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna get very wet on this being that I'm the only one on the boat and I'm in the front Like I said be careful what you wish for It's like a water slide Oh my goodness They told me to take off my hat because it will fall off. We don't want that to happen. Up we go again. We were just up there. any silver handrails. I didn't get as wet as I thought I was gonna get, so it's all right. I would say I'd give this ride about a six and a half out of 10. It's time for the super duper looper.
So we just got off the super duper looper. The line was about 45 minutes and the ride was about one minute and 37 seconds. So in my opinion, I don't think it was worth that sort of wait. And I'm gonna give it about a 5.5 out of 10 on the Marty Corner scale. Next up on the list is the Sky Rush. One of the Hershey Park's most famous rides and scariest. Are you ready? I am. Let's drop in. That was definitely a rush. Line was about 50 minutes and the ride was probably a little under a minute and a half. I definitely think this one was worth it. <laughs> I can honestly say that I thought I was gonna come out of that seat. Like I felt like my body was slipping out of it, um, which I guess is the point of the ride to make you feel like you're gonna die. So. Mission accomplished, Sky Rush, mission accomplished. You get a nine out of 10. And this is what happens when people don't follow the rules. There's our wall of shame. Alright y'all, this is Storm Runner. Definitely one of the most intense rides in Hershey Park. Let's do it! of Storm Runner. The app said it was 30 minutes, but the line was actually one hour and 20 minutes. 
so not even close to the actual wait time of the ride. By the time I, I got up to the front, I was just so over that line um, because it's, it's like 100 degrees out here. There's no misters, there's no water fountains, so it's pretty brutal. Um, but then the ride itself came along. Uh, the guy that uh, strapped me in, it was his first day on the job, and unfortunately, he pinched my arm uh, between the uh, the headrest that comes over over you and the actual seat squished my arm. It really, really hurt, and um, it was locked. So uh, it took him about 15 to 20 seconds for him to get the attention of uh, of the operator to unlock everything. Uh, so that was very painful. But I understand it's his first day on the job, and it wasn't his fault. And I'm okay. It may leave a bruise, but the ride itself was so intense and so fun I'll say that it was worth it to do that wait once I would not wait in that line again with over an hour um, but I would love to go on this ride again um, experiencing the back row I went on the front row and I will I would say the front row is by far the best because I mean you see everything and I think it goes just as fast as the back Super duper intense. I will give the ride a 9.8. Does this ride remind you of anything? The ride Boomerang at Knott's Berry Farm, which is no longer. They took it down for. I believe it's called Riptide or Surf, surf something. But yeah, same ride. So within Hershey Park, there is a water park and it is called the Boardwalk the Shore. And it is closed. I believe after Labor Day, they, they close it down. This is a seasonal park. But unlike most of our parks in California, which require a separate ticket, over here on the East Coast, I, I guess it's kind of common to have the water parks within the regular theme park. So if you want to enjoy the, the hot summer, you just get out of your regular clothes, put it in a locker, and go to the water park. Pretty cool. But we won't be doing it today. I wouldn't mind a little bit of tidal force in this 100 degree weather today. But currently, there's no tidal forces going on here. Water park is closed today. But this roller coaster isn't. So let's go on it. Nothing beats a good old fashioned wooden roller coaster. And they have three of them here at this park. Not the tiny tracks, but the lightning racer. Let's get to it.
nothing like a good old raggedy wooden roller coaster on the Lightning Racer. Gonna give this one a solid 7 out of 10. You know what's better than doing one roller coaster? Doing two of them. The Wildcat. Here we come. Well, that was the Wildcat. Now I know what it's like to be in a blender. Maybe that's what they should call the ride. The blender, because it definitely felt like I was in one. Another wooden roller coaster, solid seven out of 10. This specific one, I think they built it 40 years ago and I don't think they've touched it since. Yeah, kind of sounded like it was gonna fall apart. Kind of had a little headache from it too, but still fun. Onward to the next one. So this is the laugh track the only indoor roller coaster in Hershey Park. It's gonna be like a like a fun house with black lights and stuff. Let's go check it out. <laughs> After about an hour and a half, which seemed like maybe two and a half hours of a line, that was Laugh Track. Um, kind of like a weird sort of nightmare circus something. I don't know what that was. Definitely not worth the wait. 15-20 minutes for sure. Not an hour and a half at all. 
Gonna have to give this one a 3 out of 10. I am absolutely exhausted. Let's go take a nice quiet ride on the monorail. Sit down and relax a little bit before the park closes. So we just got off the monorail and unfortunately it was really too dark for me to film anything. Definitely an attraction that you would want to take during the day because they take you over to where the old factory is and you get to see where the actual Hershey Company corporate offices. So if you have an opportunity, definitely the monorail is pretty cool because it actually takes you outside of the park and then you go back in the park again. So pretty, pretty cool. Just do it during the daytime. All right, so we are here at Comet. It is the third wooden roller coaster here at Hershey Park. There are a total of three. And this will be probably the last ride of the evening since the park is gonna close in about 30 minutes. So let's do it. Comet, the third and final wooden roller coaster here at Hershey Park. Very similar to the other two wooden roller coasters that they have here. Very rickety, kind of jogging you around back and forth, kind of gives you a headache. Um, this one may be a little bit better than the other two just because I think it lasted a little bit longer. So I'm going to give a 7.5 for this wooden roller coaster. Hey everyone! I'm with Ethan from New Jersey. What's going on, man? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing outstanding. What was your favorite thing today? Favorite thing today? I don't know. Going on all the rides. It was pretty fun. Any specific ride that was your favorite? Uh, that big yellow one behind us. That big yellow one behind us. Yeah. Uh, what was that one called? Like the Sky... Uh, yeah, Sky Rush or something. Sky Rush or something like that. Yeah. I felt like I was going to like yeah. literally come out of my seat. I yeah. thought I was going to die. Scary shit. <laughs> We'll bloop that part out. Uh, All right, brother. Well, it was good meeting you here, and yeah, I hope man. to see you back. All right. Thanks, brother. Uh, I cannot believe that we shut the place down. From opening at 10 a.m. to closing at 10 p.m., 12 hours. I Wow. And I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm starving. 
and I still didn't get to everything there was to do, but I did get to most of the things. One thing to, uh, to make a quick note on, um, if you're coming here, make sure that you, you check the times uh, of a lot the shops and the restaurants because many of them do close prior to the park closing. So just uh, be cognizant of that and check those times because not everything closes when the park closes. Um, again, I had an amazing time and if you did too, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click that ring notification bell so you never miss any future videos. Be good to each other and I will see you next time in the corner.